Okay, I've just finished installing TurboTax 2015, so now we'll do a quick overview of the software and see what it looks like once it's installed. The first thing that happens is this form pops up, and you can fill this out if you want to, or you can just click continue and skip it. And we'll just say yes, skip it. And then I'll point out here that I'm using TurboTax Home and Business, which has a couple additional features for people who earn money through self-employment or sole proprietors, uh, basically people who have a business at home. So I'll point those extra features out, but other than that, most of the rest of the things we see in here apply to all versions. So we'll just click Begin, and this is one thing that applies to the business version, is you can prepare W-2s and 1099s, uh, but we'll just start a new tax return. And right now as it's loading up, it's going to search for any tax files from previous years that it might find on the computer. So as it's searching, uh, if it doesn't find any, you can always choose Browse down here, and you can go back and find your old TurboTax files, H&R Block files, Tax Act files, and import any of those. And it will fill in all your all of your information based on those old returns if you want to do that. It did find a return here on my computer from last year. So I could highlight that and click transfer return which would allow it to import everything from that return. But for this demonstration I'll just click continue without transferring and we'll start a blank return from scratch. So the nice thing about TurboTax is it's just a step-by-step walk you through it, it asks you questions you just answer these questions and by the time you're done answering all the questions it will have completely filled out your tax forms for you and they're very simple questions as you can see and I'll, I'll just click through these for this demonstration but you would fill this stuff in as you go and it's not going to let me get away with skipping state of residence so I'll just pick a random one here. Let's just choose the first one. Okay. So basically this is all it is. You you go through and answer these questions. Now you can skip to different sections if you want to, but I recommend just clicking continue and going through and answering the questions. Just to show you what's in here, I'll go through and click on some of these other tabs for this biz home and business version it has a business tab and that allows anyone who has business income that they want to put on their schedule C to put that in here that's basically anybody who works from home as a contractor or as a single member LLC as a sole proprietor that's who would do that kind of stuff the personal section is for all the versions of TurboTax It'll go through your personal income and talk about any possible place you may have received income. It will go through every possible deduction. It covers the new health insurance laws. It'll go through any other tax situations that you might have. And like I said before, it walks you through all this step by step. So there's no confusion here. It's pretty easy. And then when you get to the end, it will do a review of the federal forms. It will do this smart check where it double checks everything for errors just to make sure the form's filled out properly and that it's not missing anything. After that, you can do your state tax return if, if that's something you have to do for your state. Then it will do one final review. It will go through and let you know how high of a risk you are for an audit based on your return. You can see a summary here and then you can go ahead and file your return. You can do it by mail or you can do it by e-file which is the recommended way now. It makes it fast to send it into the IRS and it gets processed faster so you get your return back faster. You can also print it out so you have a copy for your records. You can save it as a PDF. You as you're going through, one thing I didn't point out is this number up here, it will start to change based on your answers. And by the time you get to the end here, 
where you file it, you'll see a number up here that will let you know how much your federal refund is or, or how much you owe if this is a negative number. And then same for the state. It will show you how much you owe in state taxes or how much your state tax refund will be. So you'll know all that before you even file the return. And then after you file the return, you can come over here and click on Check E-File Status. Since I didn't fill in my information, it can't do that, but that would let you know where your return is at right now, um, whether it's been accepted by the IRS and how far along it is in being processed, so you know exactly when you're going to get your return back. So that right there is TurboTax in a nutshell.